Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tsai, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am playing Heroes of Might and Magic 3 with the fan patch Horn of the Abyss working on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. I am using the Windows 11 ARM Virtual Machine software Parallels in order to do this. And this is only really possible using the Horn of the Abyss patch as the original version won't work through a virtual machine. It's only the fan patch which allows compatibility for the emulation that's required for Windows 11 ARM to work on the Mac ARM architecture. So this is basically going to be a full tutorial on how to get this to work, including installing Parallels, setting up Windows 11 ARM, as well as setting up the fan patch and the base game itself. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac gaming tutorials. So next we're going to download and install Parallels, which is the virtual machine software we're going to be using in order to run Windows 11 ARM on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So what I do recommend that you do is to click the link at the top of the description. This is going to take you to the Parallels download page. If you make a purchase after clicking this link, then you'll be helping to support my channel and the work that I do. So once you've clicked the link, what you can do is try the software out for free for 14 days. If you do decide to buy now and click new license, what you can do is go ahead and select the Pro Edition and then click buy now. And if you click this enter a coupon code button here, and then you type in the code AppleWiki10 and click apply, then you're going to receive a 10% discount. So here I'm going to use the free trial and I'm going to click the download now button here. And then we're going to press OK. And then the software has downloaded. So now I'm going to navigate to my finder and then go to my downloads folder. And then I can see here my Windows 11 ARM is still downloading. However, I'm going to go ahead and install parallelsdesktop.dmg. So here we're going to double click on the installer. And now we're going to double click on install parallels desktop. Here we'll press open and we're just going to let this finish downloading. So now we're going to enter our password and press OK. So once Parallels is installed, what we're going to do is to double click on Parallels Desktop and then we're going to be met with this installation wizard. So here we're going to press continue. And now what we're going to do is to select the option on the left which says get Windows 11 from Microsoft. So this is actually a new option which allows us to directly download Windows 11 without having to register with the Windows Insider program. So we're going to press install Windows and it's going to go ahead and download and install Windows 11 ARM directly from the Microsoft servers. And now we're going to let Parallels create that virtual machine for us. So now Windows 11 11 ARM is being installed and this is going through the setup process. And that's going through the setup process, we just have to wait for this to complete. So now that installation is complete, we're going to press the continue button here and Windows 11 has automatically maximized itself. You can see here that Windows, you can see here that there are various updates that are already being installed. So we're going to minimize this and we're going to close this browser window. So one of the main things to do when you first start is obviously let the updates all complete. A handy tip as well is to right click on the desktop here and then click display settings. And here we're going to configure the display resolution. So scaling is something that I always change to 100%. This is because sometimes games will crash if they're run at a higher display scale. So once Windows 11 arms installed we're going to go to the gog.com website in order to download this game so if you haven't purchased this already i do recommend clicking on the link at the top of the description this is an affiliate link which is going to help to support the channel and the content that i create if you do decide to make a purchase so this is a drm free copy of the game if you check the pc gaming wiki entry you can also buy the game from the epic game store or the ubisoft store as well or you can use a retail copy as long as the drm has been removed so i've already purchased this what i'm going to do is go to my games library to search for heroes of Might and then find the third game here and then we're going to scroll down here I want to download the offline backup game installer this comes in two parts so just click on both to download them it should be less than a gigabyte in space so once the game has downloaded what we're going to do is to double click on the application file part not the bin file in order to start the installer here I'm going to press yes and then ok accept the end user licensing agreement and press install and that's going to install it into its default location so now that's complete we're going to press the exit button so once you have the game installed what you're going to find is that you're not going to be able to run this that's because it's not going to be compatible with the 64-bit emulator on windows 11 arm however what we're going to do is to download and install horn of the abyss which is a patch that fixes classical gameplay elements and adds some of the necessary compatibility which is going to let this work on windows 11 arm so i'm going to leave a link to this website in the description we're going to go to the download section here i want to download Horn of the Abyss. So you can use any of the links here and then download this 236 megabyte patch. So once that's complete, we're going to go to our downloads folder again and then we're going to run this setup file. Here we're going to press yes. Here we're going to select English. Then we're going to locate our game. So depending on where you install this. So by default, GOG games will install into the C drive under GOG games. I'm going to select 80mm3 complete as the destination folder for Horn of the Abyss. Here we're going to press next. We're going to use the English localization, press next. 
and then enable auto updates, press next, and then install. So once that's done, we'll press finish. So back into File Explorer, we're gonna scroll down to the C drive, and then here is a Mighty Magic 3 complete. Then we're gonna scroll down, then we're gonna find our Horn of the Abyss HD EXE file. So in order for this to work properly, we need to right click and click on properties, then we're gonna to go to compatibility, and then we're gonna run this program in compatibility mode, so check this box, and then select Windows 98 or Windows ME. Then we're going to go to the bottom here and change some of the Windows 11 ARM emulation settings. So here on the default, we're going to change this to safe emulation and then press OK. So this is going to allow Windows 11 ARM to emulate this application correctly and get it running on the ARM architecture. So now that we're done, we're going to double click on H3 Hota HD to launch the game. Press yes. Here I'm just going to allow this to do an update. And also behind here, it's asking us to install Direct Play. We're going to click Install this feature. Here it's saying Direct Play is installed. And now the update is completing. And now this is updating. Press OK. So what I found is that the actual update doesn't apply correctly as it gives an error message. However, we're able to play the game. However, we are able to get into the game without patching any further and make this playable. So if you want to full screen this, you can click on this button here or press function F4. And here we're gonna press new game and then campaign, Horn of the Abyss, and then we'll just try a game and see if it works. So now my character's here and then I can play this game as normal. It's been a while since I played Heroes of Mighty Magic 3 and I've never played this particular mod before. So I'm just gonna show you some of the gameplay footage just to show you that it's all working perfectly fine through parallels. So anyway, this is how you run Heroes of Mighty Magic Horn of the Abyss on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac using Windows 11 ARM. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.